So, today I'm gonna be showing y'all three ways that I flip my loops. Hopefully, y'all can take this into your own beat making stuff so y'all can have some new ways to flip your loops. So, let's get to it. Take forever. Ooh. So, I got a loop in here. This is the loop that we're gonna be sampling. All right, boom. So, this is how it sounds. This is how it sounds. Right, this is how it sounds. Y'all get the point of the loop is basically like just a real chill kind of like rocky sound very upbeat very happy so yeah we're the first way i'm gonna show you how to change this is the most simplest way and it's basically changing the pitch and stretching it so say if i wanted the beat on one like the bpm to be 153 i would do that and then i would click this button right here to stretch it while also clicking this button right here to keep it from magnetizing that's the first step well we basically already did everything i changed the pitch just by stretching it and i stretched it or shrunk it and the pitch changes with that so what you want to do if you want to keep the pitch the same while stretching it all you could do is come here to mode and the actual loop so you will click the loop boom it says repo i mean repost resample stretch and then auto i keep it on auto so i can change the pitch myself even though the um tempo is changed so as you can see it's much faster And then now, see if I wanted to do this. All right, bet. And then now when we change the pitch, we get that. So it went from like a more upbeat, that was real chill, to something like a little bit more energetic and just more like happy, but kind of has that melancholic undertone to it. Word. So that's the first way that you could um, flip your loop samples is basically by playing with the pitch and stretching out the loop. Word. So I'm actually going to keep it like this to show you the second part, which is going to be halftime. So halftime is a plugin that I downloaded that takes up all of my CP. So, um, what halftime does is it basically slows down. If you ever use gross beat inside of um, FL Studios, it's basically like that basically i threw on another eq because you have to um because with darker sounds you gotta eq darker things out of it just to go a little bit in depth with it what you can do is you can change the smoothness of how it like slows down the loop you can also change how much it affects it by playing with the mix or you can eq it with this bottom bar um i feel like those are the three most important things you can also change like um how it samples it like whether it's gonna sample on um the eighth note or the quarter notes or the half notes so you could do that So as you can see, it changed the mood of the beat just by making it like more dark. Oh, and then it also kept like the original mood and the high end. What I like to do when I add on halftime is basically to just take this down to like 100. Just because I feel like the halftime adds a lot of low end. Now I'm going to show you the third way and that's going to be using Fruity Slicer. So... Basically what I had to do was export it, um, well consolidate it, and then I dragged it into Fruity Slicer, which is a FL Studio plugin. It's a stock plugin, so you don't need to buy nothing. Uh -uh. But yeah, you throw it into Fruity Slicer, this is what it's gonna look like. And this is the loop that is in there with all the slices and stuff. Now, what you can also do is hop into the piano roll and pick the slices that you want. These aren't the best slices, but it's just for the sake of the video yeah so sorry that i couldn't show y'all like the full way to make it but 
that's um another method is using fruity slicer or slice x so yeah it worked so please make sure to like if you like and if you don't leave a comment down below to let me know how to grow you feel me and don't freeload subscribe word i made this video because lately i've been flipping loops and samples more and i've been using them more and i wanted to put y'all on to how i be fl uh flipping my loops and stuff like that word and i wanted to put y'all on to how i be flipping my loops and stuff like that with so many producers utilizing loops it's crucial to know how to flip and resample loops to go to your own taste because if you just use it regular it's gonna sound like everybody else's and you know you want your sound to be unique never stop striving for uniqueness in your sound and keep creating word so peace After I go, you were the one who made me I hope you don't replace me After I go, cause you're the one who changed me I hope